Trucker Rudy Show. Yep, that's right. We just got her going again. And, uh, man, I woke up several times throughout the night. And <clears throat> had to blow out my nose and all that stuff. And I can already hear it in my voice that my voice is disappearing on me. I bet you my voice is sounding completely different now. But whatever, we're going to attempt to make uh, our delivery tomorrow still. Yeah, we got... Uh, 531 miles to go before we get to our delivery so it's not too bad I guess it is still quite a bit of miles when you're sick but uh, yeah, I gotta do it yeah, I push myself yeah hopefully throughout the day I'll start feeling better it's not like I feel terrible but uh, I got a running nose and stuff I've been taking pills and doesn't seem to do much. But whatever, let's continue on with our journey. I hope you guys are okay with me having a little bit of a downtime. <clears throat> I know most of you guys will be. Will understand. Well this DOT is set up here again, like we saw last week. He was set up in here, and for he's in miles. here again. It looks like he's got himself a uh, smaller truck in the business right now of inspecting it. That's a weird kind of van that they got there. So <coughs> looks like he's waving everybody by right now. He's kind of busy inspecting that other vehicle there. So we'll see what he will do to us. I'm sure he's going to say. Yeah, he's saying go ahead. So, all right. Well, then, uh, I guess we will continue on. But, uh, yeah, we've been driving now for two and a half hours. I'm thinking pretty soon we will make us a little bit of a pit stop. I tried to contact the uh, company where I deliver to. And, uh-oh, uh there's a truck going by. Oh wow, yeah, that's, he obviously didn't see the sign or something because uh, that's an inspection area up there. Everybody is supposed to go in. This truck coming up here to the left. He is the one bypassing the scale. Oh boy. <clears throat> they got no chasing vehicle in there, so I don't think they have any exemptions to go by there because there's no pre-pass there or anything like that. But anyways, uh, I couldn't get a hold of the company where I delivered to. So I uh, contacted the dispatch and uh, they said my appointment is set for tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I guess uh, we'll go in there tomorrow at 9 a.m. and deliver our load. Hopefully it won't take too long to get unloaded over there and get us a reload somewhere. And now continue on with our journey. All right, guys, we uh, just made us a little bit of a pit stop here in Council Bluff uh, and uh, had us a little bit of a bite to eat. We have been driving for over four hours already, so it was time for us to make us a little pit stop. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> also, all right, guys. Uh, we have just gotten us a uh, reload offer only 45 miles away from where I deliver my load so that's very good news for tomorrow getting us a reload and that load is going to be taking us to Edmonton Alberta that's nice very nice I like it that's uh, almost 1700 miles from where I reload up to uh, Edmonton Alberta so uh, we're uh, going to hammer down once we get that load tomorrow. We can easily do that in three days. That's no problem. So uh, <clears throat> we'll make it happen. We'll be in uh, Alberta for Tuesday morning delivery, 5 a.m. They want the load to be there. So uh, we're going to make sure we're going to do that. <clears throat> Especially if 
we can get unloaded and reloaded in a decent time tomorrow then I can drive a little bit yet tomorrow towards my uh, delivery in Edmonton so then it makes it even more easier for me so that's awesome news at least I'll get some good miles out of this trip that makes me happy it makes me really happy so yeah anyways we're just cruising along here and uh, I had me a good lunch earlier and all that but just as I was recording somebody started calling me there so I have to cut it short here we are in Kansas City Missouri yeah that's right <clears throat> we're gonna be going through here I think in a decent time it's not too bad with traffic right now at the Keep moment Keep to the right on I-70 East U.S. 3 East U.S. 71 South I-35 South I-70 West U.S. 30 30 30 30 30 30 30 right, I would think. With traffic-wise, this is a nice, interesting bridge that they got up here. Looks kind of interesting anyways to me. Looks like we got the big city up there to the right, if you can see that. Speed limit reduced ahead. Yeah, I gotta make sure I follow the GPS. There we go. Now we have pretty Speed much warning. made it through uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Yep. That wasn't too bad. We had a little bit of a slowdown right there where all the highways come together. But other than that, it was all right. It was pretty good. I think so anyways. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the Flying J here only about 46 miles before my delivery and I went inside and had me a uh, much needed shower. So now we're gonna go inside and grab us a bite to eat and probably go to bed because I'm tired. Not really tired but you know I'm sick so anyways this guy wants to get out of here now so he decided at the last minute that he wanted to get out of here, so I guess we'll let him go. And then we'll go inside and have us a bite of tea. Alright guys, it's actually the next morning. and We had us a very good, much needed shower yesterday. Very hot shower. And I went to bed pretty much right after I come back from having me some supper. So uh, now it's actually the next morning and uh, I had me a very long sleep trying to rest out from all the sickness that I've been having here lately so I appreciate you guys watching my videos even though it's uh, been kind of crappy videos but uh, hey eventually we'll get over this and uh, always look forward to the positive right so with that being said we appreciate you all being subscribed and being loyal and watch my videos and share them and hit the like and all that good stuff leave comments and uh, we will uh, try and improve again here uh, after a few days after we get uh, better and all that stuff so with that being said have a good one everybody i hope you don't get sick and we will see you on the next one this has been trucker rudy signing out